Once there was a girl who was obsessed with colors. She painted every wall in town that she could find. But one day her spray cans exploded and she couldn't wash all of the paint off her skin. Now her skin is forever stained, but luckily she's got a big smile on her face. She's now known around town as Graffiti Girl. I'm using some red can products to style my hair and then I'm taking these little cartoony spray cans and attaching those to my hair as well. Here I'm taking the Shine Killer Primer and the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in Ivory and I'm applying both of these all over the face, neck and chest area to get a nice and clean base to work with. I'm now taking the HD Finishing Powder in Translucent and the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Finishing Powder in Light to Medium and setting the entire thing with that. Using my Macaroon Lippy in Violet, I'm starting to create a lavender plant. Then to set the cream base, I'm taking the primal color in hot blue. Then to create the flower steam and little dots around that, I'm using the Vivid Sprites eyeliner in Vivid and You. To create some more dimension in the flower sleeves, I'm taking the Vivid Brights Vivid Violet Eyeliner. Now I'm outlining everything with the super fat eye marker just to give it more of a drawing feel. Now just using the exact same techniques as before to create a canola flower, I'm using the yellow shade which is hot yellow in the primary colors, the NYX Macaroon Lippy in Citron and the Vivid Sprite in Halo. Once again, I'm just using the exact same techniques as before and I'm just using all of the blue shades which is Macaroon Lippy in Blue Velvet, Primary Color in Hot Blue and Vivid Sprite in Sapphire. And this is just to create a cornflower.
So since I love Dalmatian so much, I decided to create a rainbow spotted one and to outline that I used the super fat eye marker and the matte liquid liner in black. So to color in all of the spots and the eye, I used all of the Vivid Bright eyeliners. So I just wanted to create a fun, colorful contour of the collarbones and I used all different colors of lipsticks and then I set those with the primary color eyeshadows. To frame the collarbones, I'm using the matte liquid liner and I'm also creating little lines going down from the neck. Now I'm taking the eyeshadow base and I'm setting that with the stunner palette in the lightest shade. Now I'm framing my face with different lipsticks and I'm starting with Orange County. Now I'm taking the Wicked Lippy in Scandalous and then I'm setting that with the hot blue eyeshadow. Now I'm using the Liquid Suede in Pink Lust and Amethyst. I'm setting Amethyst with Hot Pink. Then I'm using Blue Velvet Risqué in Alabama. Now I'm taking Amethyst again and contouring my cheek. I'm using Vivid Bright Eyeliner in Halo as a highlight. Now I'm creating dots using the eyeliners in Envy and Sapphire. Then I'm using the lipstick in Citroen. Then I'm taking Vivid Fire, Sapphire and Blossom to create different designs. Using the glitter primer, the glitters in teal, silver and crystal. Then I'm going in with the matte liquid liner and I'm creating different shapes around the face just to frame everything in. And I'm going a bit back and forth between glitter and liner and everything just to get the finishing touches.
Now I'm curling my lashes, applying mascara and the sinful eyelashes. Now I'm taking the eyeliners in Azure and Esmeralda and the color mascaras in Mint, Julep and Forget Me Not. Here I'm using the Redken Color Rebels in four colors and just applying them in random places around in my hair. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video, you mean the world to me and thank you for all the support throughout this competition, it really really means so much to me. I hope you enjoyed my graffiti character and remember to be yourself and stand out, I love you guys, bye! Please go vote for me at NordicPaceAwards.com, love you guys, bye!